Genesis 1, And Elohim said, Let there be light, and there was light. And Elohim saw the light, that it was good. And Elohim divided the light from the darkness. The Hebrew word for light is Or, and it is made up of three Hebrew letters, Aleph, Wa, and Resh. Aleph is a picture of an ox. It means strength and leader. It means the Almighty and being yoked. It means first. It's a letter that means Yahuwah. The letter Bob or Wa is a picture of a tent post. It means nail, add, hook. It means to connect. The letter Resh is a picture of a man's head. It can mean head and person. It has to do with your headship. And in this case, it means man. As we can see from the audio, the word or or light in Hebrew means Father Yahuwah connected to man. And when Father Yahuwah is connected to man, then man is full of light. Adam and Eve were full of this light before they fell. First book of Adam and Eve, chapter 2. But when our father Adam and Eve went out of the garden, they trod the ground on their feet, not knowing where they were treading. And when they came to the opening of the gate of the garden, they saw the broad earth spread before them, covered with stones, large and small, and with sand. They feared and trembled and fell on their faces from the fear that come upon them, and they were as dead, because whereas they had hereto been in the garden land, beautifully planted with all manner of trees, they now saw themselves in a strange land which they knew not and had never seen. And because at that time they were filled with the grace of bright nature, and they had not hearts turned towards earthly things. After the fall of Adam and Eve, they were banished from the Garden of Eden, and Yahuwah made them skins. Therefore man became man in the flesh. Genesis 3 Yahuwah Elohim made garments of skin for Adam and his wife, and clothed them. The Hebrew word for skin is ayin babris. It shows that after the fall, the connection was lost and man's eyes were open. But open to what? Let's look at the audio meaning and see what it shows us. Ayin is a picture of an eye. It means to see, experience, or watch. Wa, or Bob, as we shown earlier, is a picture of a tent post, and it means to connect. It's also the Hebrew word for and. And as we shown earlier, Resh is a picture of a man's head. It has to do with your headship, or authority, or your thoughts. The word skin is pronounced almost just like the word for light, except for the Aleph, which is our father, Yahuwah, is now replace with the eyes. The word for skin, or, is Strong's 5785. As you can see, the word skin is the same as light, except for the iron replaces the aleph, showing man without this connection is man in the flesh. But there is more. Strong's 5786 of bar is the same word as skin, but means blind. This word is thought to have began with the fallen letter Gaian. Let's look at the audio meaning using the letter Gaian to understand this word better. The letter Gaian is a picture of twisted ropes. It used to be an Hebrew letter, but has fallen off of the alphabet. It means dark, wicked, evil, afflict. It is the left eye to the letter Ayin. Once again, we have the letter Bob or Wa picture of a tent post. As we've seen before, it means to connect. And then we have the letter Resh, which is a picture of a man's head. As we've seen earlier, this means man, our thoughts. As you can see, the word created by Guy and Wa Resh is blind and shows that when man is connected to evil, he is truly blind. As we can see, the word for light is Yahuwah connected to man. Without it, we are blind. But what is the Hebrew word that means to see? The Hebrew word to see is Ra'a. Let's look at the audio meaning of this word. Resh, as we've seen before, is a picture of a man's head. It means man. Aleph means strength, strong leader. It is Father Yahuwah. And He 
is a picture of a man with raised hands. It means, look, behold, it is the Kodesh spirit of Father Yahweh. These letters form the word Ra'a, which is strong 7200. It means to appear, it means to see, behold, consider, display, and has several other meanings that has to do with being able to see. These letters also form strong 7203 Roel, which means a seer or a prophet. It gives you prophetic vision. The word Ra can mean to see, but it also can mean prophet or seer, showing that when man is with Father Yahuwah's Kodesh spirit, he can see, and without it, he is truly blind. Yahusha came into the world to bring back the connection of light to man, creating a bridge over the darkness of this world, a bridge of light, connecting man back to the city of lights in the Shemayim, our heaven bringing man a connection to the Most High by his great sacrifice on that cursed tree. He gives back the light and opens the eyes of those made spiritually blind by the fall of iniquity. John 9 As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had said these things, he spat on the ground and made clay with his saliva. And he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. And he said to him, Go, Washed in the pool of Shalom, which is translated sent. So he went and washed and came back seeing. As you can see in this passage, that the healing of this man's blindness came from the mouth of Yahusha. And the word Shalom comes from the Hebrew word Shalak, which has the meaning of being delivered, because he has delivered us all from the blindness and has opened all of our eyes. The word shalak is strong 79, 71. It means to send, but it can also mean delivered. The word shalak comes from three Hebrew letters, shin, lamed, and chet. Let's look at the audio to see the meaning of this word. Shin is a picture of teeth. It means destroy, fire, cut, consume, sacrifice, eat, the tree of life, the path between the law and his mercy and grace, fire of the divine, and to press. Lamed is a picture of a staff. It means goal, control, toward, protect, authority, bind, yoke, lead, teach, and it is the rod of a shepherd. It means to teach us. Chet is a picture of a wall. It means to divide half, a strong fence, separation, and outside. In the audio meaning, you can see the word shin can mean the tree of life, and the letter lamed, which means teaching or guiding, and the letter chet, which means the inner room. Together, we see that Yahusha is a teacher, guiding us to the inner room and bringing us back to the tree of life. John 8 Therefore Yahusha spoke again to the people. He said, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall no means walk in darkness, but possess the light of high. The connection of Yahuwah to mankind through Yahusha enlightens our souls and gives us everlasting high. John 12:36. While you have the light, believe in the light that you may become sons of light. Yahusha is explaining that his servant does not always stay in the house forever, but a son stays forever. John 8, 35 And the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth forever. So if the bin sets you free, you will be free indeed. The word bin means son, and in these passages you can see that once you become a son of the light, then the light lives in you. John 11 Yahusha answered, Are there not twelve hours of daylight? Anyone who walks in the day he does not stumble because he sees the light of this world. But if anyone walks at night, he stumbles because the light is not in him. Yahusha spoke this passage because his Talmudim were worried about him going and getting stoned in Judea, which is Yahuda. But Yahusha was making a statement to them 
that he said 12 hours in a day, referring to the 12 disciples, and that they would be the light after his death, and that those who followed him would walk in the light of this world, which is Yahusha. Yahusha blesses all that follow him and keeps his commandments. When you are in him, you are one, for Yahuwah and Yahusha are one. Interesting to note, the number 12, or 1 and 2, represents the letters Aleph and Bet. The letter Aleph referring to Yahuwah and the letter Bet meaning in. So when Yahusha said walk in the day, it has a meaning of walking in Yahuwah. The letter Shin is a picture of the tree in which Yahusha was hung, and on his left a man condemned by the law. And on his right, a man with a repentant heart who believes. If you walk the narrow path between the law and grace, you are on the narrow way to the tree of high. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. This shows that he will guide you and that your works should show it. The letter Shin without the center is the letter Ayin, which represents the eyes and it is the symbol in the word skins that they have lost their guidance. With the center as a frontlet to your eyes, you are able to see the path. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. John 17, I have revealed you to those whom you gave me out of the world. They are yours. You gave them to me and they have obeyed your word. Now they know that everything you have given me comes from you, for I give them the words you gave me, and they accepted them. They knew with certainty that I came from you, and they believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those you have given me, for they are yours. All I have is yours, and all you have is mine. And glory has come to me through them. I will remain in the world no longer, but they are still in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them by the power of your name, the name you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them, I protected them and kept them safe by that name you gave me. None has been lost except the one doomed to destruction, so that scripture would be fulfilled. I am coming to you now, but I say these things while I am still in the world, so that they may have the full measure of my joy within them. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them, for they are not of the world any more than I am of the world. My prayer is not that you take them out of the world, but that you protect them from the evil one. They are not of the world, even as I am not of it. Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I have sent them into the world. For them I sanctify myself, that they too may be truly sanctified. My prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one. Father, just as you are in me and I in you, may they also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be one as we are one. I in them, and you in me, so that they may be brought to complete unity. Then the world will know that you sent me, and I have loved them, even as you have loved me. What a blessing Yahushua has brought to us through his word and his great sacrifice to set us free. He has given back the light to us all and has opened the eyes that were blinded and given us everlasting high. Become a son of light so that your lamp will burn bright in a world of darkness in hopes of bringing light to your fellow brothers who 
were blind. Fish for the lost in hopes of showing them the way to the truth. Love your brothers as yourself and show kindness in the world that is losing its joy. Be the light and may the joy and peace in Yahusha HaMashiach fill your soul with everlasting high. I pray that this message is a blessing to you all and may Father Yahuwah bless you and keep you.